Hey, this is Nyako. Welcome to Obi Studios. So, in today's video, I might be doing something a bit different. Um, if you watched any of my videos, you know that I use Elementor a lot, mostly for all my projects. Um, the only attitude that I might have used um, previously, probably not on this channel, is um, Breezy. And then I also have Alliance Sons to, to the DV um, Builder. So those are the three um, builders that I have when it comes to WordPress. Um, I also use Webflow on and off for probably personal uh, projects. So um, that is how it is. But today I want to, um, how do you call it? I want to show you, or I want to introduce you to a new builder that I came across and I've used it for just some um, local offline um, testing purposes. And from using it, I think it is something that if probably I do not share with you, might be a disservice. So I want to share with you a new builder that was um, recently released, <clears throat> still in alpha, alpha stage, was recently released by the the makers or the, the creators of Oxygen. So the, the company that created Oxygen have released another builder called Breakdance. So Breakdance, according to the makers, um, is, um, is a builder that, that is to challenge Elemental and all those other, um, builders around. So Oxygen, according to them, is for developers. Breakdance, according to them, is for intermediaries and people who are in the elemental stages of um, of design or people who use elemental for vast amount of designs. So probably he's trying to target me. And for me, after testing it, there are a few things that are in there that are really nice. Um, if I'm not menacing words, there are few like the menu builder, um, already inbuilt conditions, uh, already inbuilt forms with conditions, the, the mega menu builder, uh, the WooCommerce integration. Right now, Elementor has more WooCommerce, um, functionalities than most builders. But what Breakdance is bringing to the table is something that is unique and a bit refreshing. So today I want to show you some of the design that I've already created with breakdowns for testing purposes. And I want, I want you to also look at them and see if this is something that you might want to think about. If um, you use Elementor, or if you use any other um, builder or page builder, let's say from um, in the WordPress uh, community. So let's um, dive into it. And then let me show you these three designs. Um, the three designs will be mostly one that features a blog, one that features uh, an e-commerce site, and then another one that also features just um, normal designs um, for like probably an agency or a design house or something like that. So those are the three things that I want to show you and how I was able to use just breakdance without any extra plugin, unless when it comes to the WooCommerce, where I have to add the WooCommerce plugin to create the WooCommerce. So this, what you see now, was built using Breakdance. Um, that so it has most of the the items that you, as someone would say, is needed to build um, a landing page or a home page or a page. So I'm gonna open the back end for you to see how the back end also looks. So this is how it looks when you um, probably when you enter into um, editing a specific page. So let's select um, an, uh, they call these blocks. So let's select a blog, a blog, yeah, a blog, a more like a blog. All right. So when you select a blog, it looks like this. Let's say we want to add a blog. You can click here and then you can drag, let's say a button and just drag it over here. 
uh, or you can just click let's say if you want um, the button to come underneath this very element you can just click on it go to add and then just click on the item that you want to be under it okay so as you can see this very design is um, I'm using a flex box for this design so that's how it's looking like this but let's find something that is more okay something like this let's click on add and then add a picture so it comes right underneath it so this is how um yeah the, uh, their setup is um if you want to do like more let's say we want to change the color for this just click on that go to something that looks like um a half donut or probably um a paint uh, a paint shield is the stallion tab and then go to typography and then you can change the color here to whatever color that you want uh if let's say you don't want the color you want to reset it to how it was you can just click on this to remove it so these colors I already predefined them using global styles their global styles can be found on this three icon and then click on global settings and over here you can um preset all the colors that you want to use if you want if you have more colors you can even do that by adding them to um, a color palette over here um there's typography uh you can add more presets also over here um there's button if you want to design the button if you want to give the button a, d um, a specific color you can give it like that so that at the end when you are adding um buttons you don't have to go in and then keep changing on the colors over and over again so that um that is how it looks so this is design number one the the next thing that i will show you is another design so this is um an e-commerce um beauty brand um so breakdance has a, a really i'll say it has an a, an amazing kind of um woocommerce integration that is different from let's say elemental or breezy uh, or div it has really something that feels um it felt uh, it is solid enough to be used um by itself without having to go through the stress of adding like needing other stuff into um added to it um would you need other stuff to be added to it definitely but everything that you see here ha there's no extra plugin everything is just by itself um this images click on them it looks beautiful you can come here and then you can style all of these items you can style the these items over here you can style this tab section over here you can change this tab section into an accordion or you can add related product um let's say let's add a product to the cart so add this one to the cart and then you can have this notification you can also customize this notification um the colors over here and you can click go to cart so there's a shopping cart and as you can see the shopping cart is unique you can design how you want the shopping cart to look um you have your um your shipping styles your you can change your address the total so you can remove this and then you can see that oh your shopping cart is empty return to the shop so this is your shop so and in the shop you can um there's not too much customization here but there's still enough customization to have um a shop that looks and feels clean like this there is no um, crazy stuff happening just something that is clean and and powerful to use and this is not even the the real stuff as i said when i said the real stuff i mean this is still in alpha uh, in alpha state meaning that they are still making changes and adding new stuff to um the the brain now um so this is how this looks let's try and then get to they even have um uh, this menu icon here so let's say that we have um this product we want to um add it to our cart and then go to checkout so we can click on here add to cart and then you can see it gives you this you can do that or you can also click on this um small pop-up card and this is how this also looks so you can add like this continue to the shop if you don't want to go to the checkout 
you can also click on that and you can go back to um, the shopping page you can just click and say okay take me to the checkout and this is how the checkout looks so if you have a coupon you can just click here and then enter the coupon let's say bundle whatever maybe the coupon is not there say hey coupon bundles does not exist um you can go down make things uh, the way that you want it to to look you cannot remove um sections of this checkout uh, if let's say you want to remove company you might need an extra plugin to do that but i think according to them they are trying to add that to um probably subsequent um, alpha versions that come out or even in the real production product um yeah so the same thing if you have you can also um, add your stuff you want to pay check and then the cash and other stuff like that um what again i want to show i think that will be all for this there's not much i think there is uh, an account page let's see about the account my i think that's how it should be all right so this is the account page when you come here you're gonna see this um i really didn't customize this so this is the default that comes with um, breakdance you can go in and put in your um your email and then your password to log in so it comes with a footer builder and the other stuff that are really amazing so this is how an e-commerce shop website can look on breakdance without any other plugin just breakdance um the next thing i want to show you is um another website that is built using breakdance um, this is how also this looks this is just um let's say if you have like um an agency or a design platform you can build a website like this to into it um yeah nothing too crazy here but as you can see it has the capability to design uh, a pixel perfect design without compromising on anything and this is just the alpha um so I think uh, that, that is the end of the, the things that I wanted to show you. So as I was saying, this uh, this tool um, is not, I wouldn't say it is revolutionary. Uh, it's going to revolutionize the way that you design stuff, but it has things that either, um, let's say builders do not even have at the stage that they are on. I can show you they um going back to the features there is a form builder that has conditions already included in the alpha stage conditions like how um let's say if you're using some of these other uh, form uh, form builders for me i only use one form builder i use elementals form builder and if i want something more advanced i use jet uh, i think jet forms which i have from um what you call it um, crocker block so those are the forms i don't use any other form i don't have um i know pe there are people who love other forms but i don't use any of that i also have a uh, poignant yeah, i think it's called poignant i think i bought their their form builder for the mentor a while back i haven't used it yet but i also have that um yeah it has dynamic content um included in it if you want to like dynamically link stuff you can use i think um AFC and then Meta Box, which I don't have any of those tools yet because I have Jet Engine, so I don't have those. But hopefully, I'll be able to get my hands on one of those and then test it out with how the integration also looks. It has a Mega Menu Builder. Um, I didn't go through that, but the Mega Menu Builder is one of the the best that I have seen. It, it is totally um, that one. I'll say is a game changer. The Mega Menu is a game changer. Let's say you go to breakdance, right? You go to header. And then let's create a different header. Let's say header two. Um, let's put it, let's say in the 404. We don't really want to show that. So and then we're going to say edit with breakdance. I just want to show you how the header looks like. So add this and then look for menu. So this menu builder, 
So this, um, you see all of these stuff, you can go in, change color for this very section. You can create these panels. Let's say we want to add another column. So the columns go to the right, right? And then you can add a link. Um, and then un when the link is done, you can just keep adding, you can add like a section that will come to the bottom. Then you can just keep adding links to the sections. And then you can just add a link here, like the building, um, a mega menu in this is totally, it's totally, um, something that is, I would say, um, for me, I would say it's a game, it's a game changer because I have mostly when I build things for client, I never push them into mega menus because you have to get another plugin. And then more plugins and then more plugins. So I build mostly simple, um, menus for them where everything looks good. But with this, if I ever want to use, um, breakdance, I know that I have the, the options to build either a simple menu or I can also build a mega menu like this where you can add pictures. You can add like most of the things on the left hand side. You can drag and drop them in here to make things look as good as you want it. You can build literally the mega menu, um, whether the one on Apple's website or so many other platforms that uh, you do see out there. So this, uh, this for me is something that is also really exciting. One thing that, um, as I said, uh, the only thing that would be a drawback for me is not having integration for jet engine, because if they had integration for jet engine, I might be more inclined in using this for client. Um, for me, if this thing comes out, I'm going to buy a license for it. Um, it's going to be, I think, 149 for the year. I might buy one to just keep using it, to, to keep testing it out, to see um, its potentials and how far I can push it to do the things that I want. Because remember, when this thing comes out, it will be lacking a lot of stuff. It will be lacking um, integration with a lot of plugins that are out there. It will be lacking also any any other third party plugin, so it will be something that is going to be standing by itself. Hope or well, ho hopefully, um, developers out there are going to pick up on the product, and then they are going to also create other third party plugins to give it more capabilities and um, to make it more easier to use as um, a page builder. Because so many other page builders out there have ton of um, third party plugins. Um, let's say Elementor has crazy amounts of integrations and third party plugins that are changing the way people build websites. Without a third party plugin for Elementor, Elementor will also be by itself and many people wouldn't be using it. At the moment, it has over 10 million, um, installs for the, the free version. So you can see that you have people who are pushing Elementor because you can just buy um, the free version or you, sorry, you can just get the free version and then buy a third party plugin. Like, um, uh, I think ultimate pro or one of those, like you can even buy a block and add it to it. For me, I only use crocker block. I don't have any of those other, um, add ons. I don't really need them because none of the things that they are providing gives me, um, it doesn't change the way that, uh, my design, I'm not looking for anything else, um, apart from the one that I have in a pro. So that is that but as i said breakdance um it's a tool that if you're looking to design a website it's something that you should keep an eye out for because for me it has um the potential to to give you more flexibility it has the potential to change the way that you are um or change the pace and the way that you're designing at the moment and uh, it is something that um, as a community yeah, of designers or someone who is just building a website for themselves, you'll be able to to find it um, uh, amazing.